Let's turn up that 2019. Question number five. Now we have been told that in the diagram, PQR is a tangent to the circle at Q. And then angle NQR. NQR, that is 58 degrees. And that is MNQ equals 46 degrees. We should find angle MQN. I want to find the angle here, which is MQN. Now, make sure that you sketch the diagram. Note that this is tangent and chord relationship. And what does this say? It says that the angle, a chord, and the tangent meet is equal to the angle, the tangent, the, that is the chord mix in the alternate segment. The angle, the chord, and a tangent mix is equal to the angle, the chord mix in the alternate segment. So clearly, this angle is equal to what? The angle over here. Or, or we can also say that what? The angle over here, this angle is equal to what? The angle over there. And then we just find the angle over here. Now, clearly we have what can we say? We can say that M M Q P is the same as angle M N Q. And this is 46 degrees. This is 46 degrees. We want to find M Q N. Now, what do we know? Sum of angles on a straight line. at a point as 180 degrees. What does it mean? We have 46 degrees plus angle M Q N plus 58 degrees equal to 180 degrees. Now we have M Q N plus. Now let's see, we have 46 plus 58, and this is giving us 104 degrees. Equals 180 degrees. I want to find M Q N. So angle M Q N equal to 180 degrees minus 104 degrees. Clearly, our angle M Q N we call to that is 76 degrees. Now let's see the B. The B, we want to find the magnitude M N. So what is vector M N? First, vector M N. Now vector M N is O N minus O M. Now, what is vector n? Vector n is 4, 7. What is vector m? 2, 3. 4, 7, 4, 7. We have 2, 3. Clearly, 4 minus 2, that is 2. 7 minus 3, that is 4. Now, we want to find the magnitude of mn, vector mn, and this is equal to square root of 2 square plus 4 square. And this is the same as um, 4 plus 16, which is 20. And we have to point this on the calculator. And when we point on the calculator, this is 4.472. Units. Okay, now this is object 2019. Question number 13 A. This on circle term and circle term is quite challenging to students. Now we are being told in the diagram PQ, that is PQ, is a tangent to the circle ABT at T. So the circle ABT at T. A tangent touches a circle at a point. So it is touching it at T. Now ABC is a straight line. ABC is a straight line. And then we are going to TC by TC is by setting B T Q. We are being told that we should find the value of M. That is the value 
over there. Now, this is tangent chord relationship. AT is a chord. PQ is a tangent at T. BT is a chord. What do you know? The angle the chord and the tangent makes is equal to the angle the chord makes in the alternate segment. So here, this is AT chord. PT tangent. So the angle it is making over here is equal to what? The angle AT is making in the alternate segment. So if this is 60, it means that this is also what? 60 degrees. So you have to put it in writing. You can see that angle ATP is equal to angle ABT. And this is 60 degrees. What can we also see? We can also see clearly that the angle over here is equal to what angle? BTQ is equal to what? The angle over there. So what can we see? We can say that angle BAT is equal to BTQ. And this is equal to what? 44 degrees. The same property. So this is 44 degrees. Now what were we told? We were told that TC, TC bisect BTQ. What does it mean? It means it divides that angle into two equal parts. So what does it mean? Clearly it means that our angle BTC is the same as angle C T Q and it is the same as what 44 over 2. Why? It is bisecting it. So clearly this is what 22 degrees. What does it mean? It means that the angle here is 22 degrees. The angle here is what? 22 degrees. Clearly, let's see, we can see a right and we can see a triangle. We can see a triangle B T C. What do we know? The sum of angles, the sum of opposite interior angles is equal to what? The exterior angle. This is an interior angle, opposite interior angle. The angle here plus this angle is equal to what? The exterior angle over there. So clearly, what can we see? We know that the sum, the sum of opposite interior angles is equal to the exterior angle. So what does it mean? It means that 22 degrees plus M equal to 60 degrees. Uh, M is equal to 60 degrees minus 22 degrees. And clearly, our M will be equal to 38 degrees. Or, 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 let's see, from the diagram, we'll be able to know the angle over here. And the angle over here, we got 120 degrees. So this angle plus that angle plus this angle equal to 180. So we can consider triangle B, T, C whereby we have 120 degrees plus 22 degrees plus M equal to 180 degrees, sum of angles in a triangle. This is 142 degrees plus M equal to 180 degrees. So our M would be 180 degrees minus 142, 142 degrees. Clearly, this is equal to 38 degrees. Our M is equal to 38 degrees. Or, or, we can consider triangle ATC. Now, let's see triangle ATC. Let's see triangle ATC. That is ATC. This angle is M. Now, we'll be able to know the angle over here. Now, sum of angles in, that is on a straight line, Add up to 180. So that is 60. Let's suppose that let's put 
x over here. 60 plus x plus 44 would be equal to what? 180. So we know that on this line, you know, you are going to get 60 degrees plus x plus 44 equal to 180. Clearly, we have 104 plus x equal to 180 degrees. Clearly, our x is 76 degrees. That is our x, which is 76 degrees. So when you consider that triangle, that is ATC, we have 44 plus x plus 22 plus angle M equal to 180. So we have 44, what is x? We have 38 plus 22 plus no, our x is that is x is 76 our x is 76 plus m equal to 180. Now, adding all this, you have 142 plus m equal to 180. And clearly, our m will be equal to 38 degrees. Thanks a lot for watching. Make sure that you subscribe because there will be a whole lot of questions, solved past questions to help you prepare very well for your exams.